Okay, I'm gonna do the, the mechanical pump rebuild. Even the oil color is good, but when I learning the pump, I saw the bunch of the bubble inside. And also, the vacuum is really bad, so. I have to remove the disc pump and get it in. Okay, now I remove the just line. You can see the inside is much contained by water. And uh, <laughs> I have to remove the electrical line. There, I have to take it off. Okay, and uh, RST, I make a number one, two, three and because I don't want to mess up the after I rebuild the reinstall. And also, I'm gonna mark it here one, two, three. They're the same as this one one, two, three. Okay, just in case, like a uh, accident, and sometimes uh, like the operator, if they didn't know they turn on the power, then it's gonna be a problem, so I just take it for this one. Okay, and now I have to remove the pump. I take it out of this bolt, and then and then I can take it out. Okay, now I drain the, all the oil. All the oil. And uh, let's start uh, disassemble. Okay, now, now I open the cover. Look at the inside. It's like a uh, bunch of the sludge. I think this one uh, this one yeah. I think this one is clean and uh, it's gonna be work after the clean and it's gonna be good but uh, uh, I, I have to make a test by by hand and then remove the motor and uh, inside of the uh, this fan you know and then check it out the the baking pressure right on the top right here that I turning the my hand and cover the this one and I'm making sure the suction yeah I think yeah I think this one is after the cream is gonna be working good and, uh, and it's might be broken in the inside of the seal but anyway uh, one more thing and uh, when I turn over the cover this one is broken it's supposed to be here Edward company they always got a problem problem is uh, this LB cover screws right here I saw the many pump this one is broken so sometimes uh, I didn't put it back again and I just open it yeah it's so dirty okay let's start with the clean Cannot be one of you see they like a shiny one. You cannot be touched. That means uh, this one is a called uh, distributor, but it's supposed to be right here and right there. 
and then sometimes this one gotta be misalignment it's supposed to be this one going through the hole uh, and then holding the spring right there actually this one so a little bit moving right here again you got the pressure but this one I mean is I think there's something misalignment or uh, southern pressure is it took out okay uh, let's clean it and uh, I'm gonna put it back found another scratch this one yeah that means it's definitely problem is this okay I clean it Okay, I hear I clean a little bit and uh, remove the three bolt and take it out the cover. Uh, so I have to clean this one, the inside. So it's really dirty. So this one also I have to clean. After I clean the uh, this filter, and then uh, I think I found the problem, which is uh, it's supposed to be the air filter with the feed in the oil. But look at this one; there is nothing. So I think the the vacuum is not working good. That means like a uh, oil supply line is cracked. When I take it out of the field, uh, it's supposed to be a bunch of the water spill, but uh, it's not much. So, oil is in, and the bottom hole, that the uh, oil is out. So, <coughs> the supply line is here. Okay, so I took out this pipe and uh, and check it out the clock. Yeah, definitely it's cracked. Okay, uh, yeah, this pipe is cracked. So I make a hole and uh, now is a uh, is working good. This one is a distributor which I took out the last time. Okay. When you running the rotor inside the high back side, this one is the high back side, this one is the uh, uh, low back side. And the oil is going up. Oil is going I mean the going out and going in. And 
then the follow the pipeline the oil is going through the oil filter this one is looks like right here okay so the first problem is this filter is like a misalignment second one is clocked this line that is why the oil is come up and not going through the oil filter come out in out to the oil filter there is a problem okay so uh, finally i found out the problem so i'm gonna assemble it again and uh, get to the little bit more clean so uh, after that i will show you the, the vacuum test okay now i'm done with assembling and uh, testing it's, uh, it's about over 30 minutes running it's still up to the minus 20 micron 10 minutes the pump is working good